In this problem, we have a system of equations. In other words, we have two linear equations uh, like this. X, y equals negative x minus 2 and y equals x plus 3. There are different ways to solve systems of equations. In this case, let's solve this by graphing. So what we want to find is x is equal to something and y is equal to something. What that means when you graph it is what point do the two lines intersect? And that will be our answer. That will be our x and our y. So let's just graph each of these individually and see where they intersect, and that will be our answer. Let's begin with this one, y equals x plus 3. So the slope is 1, and the y-intercept is 3. So we start at x is equal to 0, and y is equal to 3. Okay, so now we need one more point and we can graph from there. So we have the slope of 1, so basically we have this point and we want to go up 1 and to the right 1 or down 1 and to the left 2. So either way, it's going to be a, a, just a basic line like this. So up 1 and to the right 1, etc. Down 1 to the left 1. Okay, so now we have a point that crosses like so. Down 1 over 1 more, and down 1 and over 1 more. So it crosses right about there. So a line like that. Now one more line, and then we can see where they intersect. So we have a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of negative 2. So we again begin at negative 2, right here. And now in this case we have a negative slope, so instead of going up to the right, it goes down to the right. So it looks something like this. The slope is negative 1, so we go up 1 and to the left 1, or down 1 and to the right 1, however you want to do it. So we'll have a point here, up one, left one, here, up one, left one, here, and one more, up one, left one. Great, so now we have enough points that we can see where they cross. So it looks like it crosses right about here. We'll draw this line. It's about as accurate as we can be here. So now we can see where these intersect. So luckily it comes out to a pretty nice number. We don't have to guess too much but it's midway between these two points, negative 2 and negative 3, and midway between these two points, 0 and 1. So our point is right here, and that's our answer, and that looks to me to be negative 2.5, and y is 0 0.5. So that's our answer. x is equal to negative 2.5, and y is equal to